for today's video, I am going to be talking all about Nels Inc's paint can, which is the first spray-on nail varnish in the world. It first came out, I think, late last year, late 2015, and I tried on the very first paint can that they released, which was um, Shoreditch Lane, which is a metallic silver. And fortunately, a couple of weeks ago, Nails Inc. sent me their latest release, which is the gold can, which is good as gold, in collaboration with Lottie Tomlinson. Yes, so I am super eager to try this on. First time I tried it on, I was pretty impressed with the results. I actually couldn't believe it actually really worked. I have been a bit lazy painting my nails <laughs> this week, so this is going to be handy for me. I don't have to wait ages for it to dry, which is what I love about this. I haven't tried the Shoreditch Lane can. I am going to try it on for you so you guys can see what it looks like. Nelsing do recommend using the two-in-one top and base coat, but I don't have the two-in-one base and top coat. So I am going to be using my own base coat and a different top coat also from Nels Inc. And that's what I used last time and it worked brilliantly. So I think it's safe to use your own base coat and top coat if you don't have the two in one base coat and top coat that they have on offer. So yeah, so let's get started. So this is all that you need to get started with and if you don't have the two in one base coat and top coat then you can use your own. So I am going to be using Nails Inc's Kensington Caviar base coat before I then use the spray can in Good As Gold. Yes. And then I will be finishing things off with Nails Inc's Kensington Caviar top coat. So let's just get started. And it's drying up. It's dried up. Let's zoom in. It looks like it's dry already. I can't believe it. So I'm just going to wait a few more seconds and then wash it off. But it looks pretty good at the moment. I am liking what I see. So I'm just going to use a bit of hand wash. This is the finished result. And as you can see, my nails are dry and shiny. I was able to get the excess spray paint that went across all over my fingers off my skin with a bit of soapy water. It all just came off. So I am now going to complete it by adding a top coat. And I will be using Nails Ing's Kensington Caviar's 45 second top coat, one of the best top coats out there. touch dry at the moment if I just touch it and this is it <laughs> result. So that's it guys. That was my very quick video to show you how to use Nels Inc. spray on paint can. 
and I am absolutely loving my results. I'm quite happy with them. I'm going to go off camera after this video and spray the paint onto my other hand because I've only just done my left hand at the moment. But it's a great alternative for the 21st century woman who's always on the go and sometimes you just don't have the time to do your nails. So this is this will come in handy for sure. I will be sharing pictures of these on the blog so you can check them out for some still images so you can see it in great detail as well if you haven't already seen it in great detail in this video. I will be leaving the link to this below in case you want to grab one and try it for yourself so don't you worry about that you can check that out and they retail for £10 so it's pretty reasonable for um, for a big can like this I feel yeah. <laughs> if not you can always grab it in stores as well it's stocked in a few stores like Selfridges and House of Fraser I'm pretty certain of. Um, if not again try the Nails Inc website um, you will be able to get one and it comes in a variety of shades as well and if you're in America I think it's coming to Sephora very soon um, but you can, again you can also check on the Nails Inc's website but yeah I'm quite happy with it it's ideal for days when I'm feeling lazy or like weeks when I'm feeling lazy because I like to change my nails like pretty much every week <laughs> it's a great addition the only thing I will say in terms of how it compares to a normal nail varnish is the thickness I quite like um, my thick nail varnish so that's the only thing it's lacking I would say in terms of its thickness but other than that it's pretty brilliant in terms of the coverage it really does do an amazing job and it really is a quick fix solution for an actual nail varnish so it's good to take along with you on holiday because you can just do it so quickly and have a manicure done within a number of minutes. Do I think it's going to replace the normal nail paint? I don't think so but I have to say I'm pretty liking the metallic gold. It's looking pretty good. Yeah it is. It's looking pretty pretty good right now. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm just going to quickly go off now and go do my right hand before I head out. I'll be off my friend's birthday actually tonight, yeah. Not that you need to know that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it guys. Any questions, leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, make sure you comment, like and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye!